What is up guys, today we will have a brief review and installation of Tiny 10 which is actually a stripe down version of Windows 10 so it's a version which is much lighter, consume much less resources and actually it's really good for the old laptops so here I've got Asus uh, T100, really old tablet or aka transformer book, K laptop here, so I would like to install only 2 GB of RAM, 64 GB of built-in memory, so I'd like to install this Tiny 10 on the Asus. So let's go step by step. Basically what you need to do first is to open achieve.arc here and search for NTDev, that is actually developer of this uh, version of Windows. And here you have uh, this version here which is Tiny10 for x86. So basically this laptop not supporting x64, so x86 only version. But in case you have a laptop that supports, that chip supports x64, so I recommend to download some other version that actually will support it. Uh, all right, so let's download it. I already done it before. And how we install it, we have Rufus app here, you open it up, you, we have a flash drive here already installed and let's select it, go to here, choose it here or keep it all by default and click start here, okay, okay and let's wait until it will be done and I will be back to you. So basically it's done, it's already on my flash driver, so I just close it, eject the flash driver from my laptop. Alright guys, so let's enter the recovery mode, let's turn it off first. I'll shut down, then you need to hold the button down and turn on button at the same time. One, two. All right, so currently you can see the UFI downloader, this Kingston Data Traveler. Press on it. And okay, it's fine. I hope. Let's wait until it will load. Okay, it's loading here. Uh, let's wait until it will load the installation of the Windows and then let's move on. So here we have the installation package, actually, language to install. You can have only one language. Time and currency, keyboard, play next, install now, you need to select here, set up a starting, so basically it's like a regular uh, setup of the Windows 10, just you will get at the end not a regular Windows 10, that's the main difference, that's the tiny Windows 10. So set up a starting, so let's wait a bit until it will start and then you need to do several more steps to install it but it will take not a long time let's say up to 20 minutes will be more than enough to finish installation on this device okay so you see here uh, license accept next uh, custom install uh, you need to remove i don't know okay you cannot select it let's remove all of them one three I have got four portions here you will get again four after you will finish all the removal remove and then new one apply okay so it will select four of them as well okay even three better uh, let's go with prime primary next Okay, installation started, so I will be back to you once it will be done. So it will take around 10-15 minutes, for you it will be just one second. Alright, let's move on. So actually, installation is done. Let's select here the region. Eh, it's not selecting. Yes, okay, working. Just a moment, let's wait. So it's just basic configuration. Then after this, uh, I think several more minutes need to wait until it will initialize, let's keep just a moment, okay, network I don't know, I think we can skip also for now and connect it later uh, username let's select uh, admin or asus 
password skip actually it skipped uh, the connection itself to the internet because it doesn't have any sort of one cloud or any other cloud that Microsoft is uh, pushing to accept. Uh, find my device, location, diagnostic data, tailored experience, advertising ID. No, don't need it. Okay, accept. Services, actually, the latest step. Okay, now let's wait a moment. I think it's setting up. It will also take some time. All right, we are finally done here. So seems no drivers, the touch screen doesn't work by itself. So we need to set up some additional drivers. Let's open the settings and see how it looks like. So Windows is not activated. Okay, actually need to activate it. I have another version of Windows here, but it's okay. I will do it later. Battery is 17%. Let's open. Uh, let's click on all the here. Task manager. Let's see the consumption. Actually, memory is 41%. Let's open here. 0 0.8 only of memory consumed. 2% of CPU. Actually, it's quite good results, I guess. And I think many features are removed from here and I hope it will work much faster as for now need to set up all the drivers so let me check what kind of drivers it has right now I don't think many of them but let's check it out okay looks quite tiny device manager here Okay, as you see, many drivers are not installed here, so need to be installed. But this is, I think, perfect combination for such type of old laptops, old tablets uh, on Windows. So it's actually really 700 megabytes in use, so it's really good results. Also, you can enlarge it using your memory. And let's see uh, how much it consumes here. So... Actually, it's around five gigabytes, which is not that a lot, or six gigabytes, not five, yeah. But still, it's good. It's five gigabytes only, so 51 is free, and I think it's really worse to install such type of Windows on such device like Asus T100. In case you want to have some tests or comparison, just leave it in the comments below. Put a thumbs up, and see you next time.